Hi, welcome to the quickit.net lesson 4. You need to understand the debugger concept. The debugger statement involves any available debugging functionality such as setting a breakpoint. If no debugging functionality is available, this statement has no effect. Chrome is the best debugging tool in the JavaScript. You can use the Chrome Developer tool. It is a set of authoring, debugging and profiling tool built into the Google Chrome. Many of the developer tool document are based on Chrome Canary which provides the latest Chrome feature. Okay, so here we need to understand how I can use for the new debugger method okay so here is the example i have created one footer okay and let's consider here i'm not giving any id for the team okay and i'm i will going to run this application view in the browser okay you need to press f12 or inspect element right in the console panel you can see cannot read property of open child of none. Okay, that means you need to debug here. So what I will do, I can put in the beginning debugger syntax. Okay, which allows me to set a breakpoint for debugging the things. Again, I am inspecting. Click on console. Okay, you can see open child of null is still not present because something is going wrong in my program. So what I will do, I will press F10. Okay, again I am reloading the thing and I will going to press the F10. Okay, here, here it is not showing any divide. Can you see that? Okay, the DYD is null over here. See, again I am pressing Fn, F10. Okay, so what is the value I am getting over here? D equal to null. Okay, so D, I am, I haven't defined any DYD for D. So what I will do, I will define the div id equal to my div id. Okay, again I will going to reload my page. Right. Okay. Control R. Copyright at 2017. The result has been. Let's go for the simple one. Okay. Let's consider if you want to find out the values of variable i12 j13 k14 okay f equal to i multiply by j okay then again i will click on view in a browser inspect in a console Okay, I will press now Fn F10. Okay, but before that, I should print the value of i by using console.log method. Right, console of i, j, k, and f. Okay. So you can see value of i12, 13, 14 and 156 appeared over here. Okay. So this is the use of console and debugger thing. Okay. You can practice. If you have any doubt then please contact me on 8652457999. Or email us at 
with it.net at gmail.com. Thank you for watching.